Welcome to another short video to inspire more people to work and hack on open source. For example, on this Lenovo IdeaPad, there was not a single temperature or fan sensor working. Unfortunately, especially not exported by ACPI, which I find really a shame that more and more modern integrated machines do not even support some kind of uh, sensors, fan and such over ACPI. Also, mod probing this K10 temp did not yield any sensor because it was not matching to this new hardware. So I thought um, I quickly take a look into this. I thought let's simply see if adding the device ID to this module will work and indeed it did. So this is just Travers HWMON K10 temp and it has here some PCI IDs for the chipsets and NOS bridges and I simply added here some Ravenridge North bridge thing here, which is simply the device ID. This is what I added here. Um, AMD 17 hex RR for Ravenridge, North bridge 15 D0. And this is all it took. As the other AMD Ryzen's had you some temperature offsets, I also added this and experimented here with this offset of 10 or 27, 20 degrees. Initially, I had here 10 degrees. But apparently this is not needed. I sent already a patch to the kernel mailing list and the author asked me if I really need this offset. He heard that the offset should be rather zero. So we don't even need this lines. Results in a 10 degree different temperature, but maybe this is more accurate. Theoretically, uh, either AMD could tell us what the offset is if it is zero, or I could open the case again and try to measure this under the heatsink. But obviously I will not mess so much around with this lone unit. So this is what I got for now. To build this here in the kernel tree, just make drivers HWMON K10 temp KO. And I think right now this will know with this all mod config, this will unfortunately know mod post here some hundred modules. But that's not that slow. And um, I think right now I'm probably running with a 10 degree offset from the other day. So let's RM mod this and ins mod. Here's a new one. And yeah, it's like 10 degrees warmer now, of course, one and a half degree different because that is what it's fluctuating now. Just a quick daily vlog to inspire more people to hack around on this. And for this kind of changes, you really don't need to be a studied computer scientist. In my opinion, everybody can try around and mess around with this. And this is really just adding some device ID. Initially, I even had the number here directly. So AMD is obviously the AMD vendor ID and this is the PCI ID. Initially I even had the number here. I only added the if dev later to, to make it similar to the other ones and sent it upstream. So initially I had here one five something directly. So you don't even need to make it that nice in the beginning. Um, you know, hex one five D zero. Again, in my opinion, this kind of things, everyone even without programming experience could try and mess around with it. Usually it should not be possible to destroy things with this. Of course your mileage may vary, but this kind of sensor things, uh, if you are not flashing your bias and such, I think you should probably usually not be able to destroy things. And now I have at least some indication how hot the machine is inside. So that was a short post for today. I hope you learned something and maybe leave in the comments below if you would find this daily hacking videos useful and interesting. And don't forget to subscribe for all the next videos to come.